By now, you've probably seen the viral video. Governor Rick Scott walks into a Starbucks to order a drink, and a woman starts yelling at him because she's upset with him. Now a pro Scott Super PAC is firing back. You're in you don't care about working people. Days after this Gainesville Starbucks confrontation went viral, a pro Scott Super PAC ad called Latte Liberal Gets an Earful was released. You may have seen this video of a terribly rude woman at a coffee shop. The ad identifies Kara Jennings, a Palm Beach County resident, as a former government worker who refused to say the Pledge of Allegiance and an anarchist, both of which Jennings doesn't dispute. Technically, everything he said is true. In addition to yelling at Scott for defunding Planned Parenthood, Jennings also complained about the lack of jobs in the original YouTube video. The Super PAC's response? A million jobs? Great! Who here has a great job? Well, almost everybody except those who are sitting around coffee shops, demanding public assistance, surfing the internet, and cursing at customers who come in. Jennings denies needing public assistance right now. There are many different words I could have yelled at the governor, and I guess the one I chose wasn't the, the clearest one. I, I think it would have been better if I had called him a polluter or a criminal or a murderer. I think that would have been more fitting. You think calling him a murderer would have been more fitting than a... He is the policy decision maker about the death penalty and execution numbers in our state. When asked about the ad, Governor Rick Scott had this to say. But that was put out by uh, Let's Get to Work, uh, which is uh, 527. Uh, you can talk to them about that, but I think what we did was just try to set the, set the record straight. Uh, I, you know, I talk to people every day as I travel the state. Sonica Dongate, WPBF 25 News.